Glaive coded 7 billion parameter model crushes the benchmarks. It's a new 7 billion parameter model. And in this video, we're going to learn everything about this model, starting from checking the model hands on running the code. This is the model arena where you can compare the GPT-4 and also Glaive coded 7 billion parameter model. It's not a fair comparison, but that's what we have got to do right now. So we have this interface where I have asked this model and also GPT-4 to create a simple Python app. So all I want is like a Python app with, I didn't specify whether I wanted with GUI, whether without GUI, but I just gave that and took the code. First, we are testing the code from Glaive Coder and very first thing we are getting an error. So the error is a very simple error for us to fix, but I wanted to make sure that if it actually made an intendation error and it has made an intendation error. So we can fix this error very simply. All we have to do is fix the intendation. Also, there is an unwanted code. We can fix the code and then try to run the code finally. So once we fix the code and then try to run the code itself, so the code works works fine. I mean, the code runs fine. But what I found out not working fine is that the hangman structure is quite good. But when I started guessing the letters, it did not actually tell me whether you know, I guessed it correctly, or whether it filled in, but it kind of felt restarting it, I didn't feel the best experience at the start. Let's try the GPT-4 code. All I'm doing is copying, pasting it, and I'm going to run it. And once you see the code, once you start running it, it gives you that uh, simple question to try it out. Once you try it out, it's very straightforward. For example, I can guess the letter and it says it's wrong. And then once a after a point, it restarts the game because it has given me only X amount of tries. I feel this is more nuanced code than this. But if you see the code, there is a difference between an object oriented code, which is what Glaive pref uh, preferred and GPT-4 gave me a simple function. Let's try to create a new simple Pomodoro app, but this time with a GUI, the graphical user interface. Once we ask this thing for a simple Python Pomodoro app with GUI, graphical user interface, both the models, GPT-4 and Glaive Coder 7 billion parameter model start creating the code for us. Once the code is ready, it's going to have this default 25 minutes timer and it uses Tinkter for creating the code. So I've copied the code and pasted the code and I'm going to run this. And once again, there is a very silly error. And if I go ahead and then try to see the silly error, it's just a parenthesis error. So all I had to do was I had to enclose an extra parameter to make sure that the error goes away. After that, I close this and I run this. There is no error. It runs completely fine, but I got the GUI. When I click the GUI, when I click start, I don't see it starting. So that is another thing that, you know, the code ran successfully for a 7 million parameter model, the code ran successfully, but it did not give me the end GUI completely fine as I expected it to do. So once again, the Glaive coder did not hit that exact mark, even though it was good. Let's copy the GPT-4 code, go back to Visual Studio code and click paste it and then run it. And once you run this, you can actually see that this gave me GUI and straight away the GUI started. I mean, the only thing here is that I don't have a stop button, which was kind of a bummer. But again, it's a Pomodoro timer. Like sometimes you don't want a, st a stop button, but it manages to run completely. All I had to do was like kill the process for me to stop it, but it managed to do it completely. So what I feel is so far Glaive Coder hit the mark, not exactly 100%. So let's create a new Python application, another GUI for crosswords. These are very simple applications. That's why I'm trying it with this. And also I expect these uh, models to do well with Python. That's why I'm sticking to Python. And of course I can evaluate how the Python looks like. So, so far, once again, what I felt is that even for Pomodoro timer, I felt the Glaive coder tries to have an object oriented programming approach all the time, unlike GPT-4. So paste the code here. Once you paste the code, they've given like different codes for me to try. Once you paste the code here, I can click run it. So if you see even the Pomodoro timer, it gives me different segments of code. It says like, okay, run this code. It might have an error and this code. But anyways, moving forward to the crossword, I'm copying this, pasting this. Once I paste this again, I'm trying to run it. Once I try to run it, I got an empty GUI. Uh, now, you know, there is some error. I don't want to fix it at this point. But from the first shot, like from the zero shot, it didn't work. Um, I had to probably make some changes. But instead of that, I'm going to copy the GPT-4, which is probably the king of programming models, paste it, run it. Once I run it, I got a very simple interface. This almost looks like a hangman. It is definitely not crossword. So once again, I believe GPT-4 is doing a job. But in this particular case, I don't think GPT-4 has done a decent job itself because it's more like a hangman than like a crossword. Um, but but yeah, so when, when I said crossword, 
it thinks itself a word guess game if you can see from the title of the gui so it is a word guess game but anyways it says uh, congratulations you won because i guessed react the word correctly overall what i feel i feel glaive coder 7 billion parameter model is a really good model i mean it it hits the mark almost for a 7 billion parameter model is first of all it's unfair comparison gpt4 with mixture of experts this is a 7 billion parameter model that is trained on a data set of 140000 programming related problems and solutions from glaive's synthetic data generation platform it's fine tuned from code llama 7 billion parameter model follows the same prompting structure like llama 2 and code llama and it has achieved 63.1% pass one human eval and 45.2 pass one mbpp while the benchmarks don't mean anything or maybe they mean something it's not like the 100% correct we managed to test the model and i feel the model is really good the model is strong the fact that the data set that they use the model to train is also released in apache 2.0 so you can build on top of the data and then do the fine tuning if you want to do the model comes completely it's a 27 gb i, I don't know if i've seen 27 gb for a 7 billion parameter model i'll try to run it on google colla but at least for this point i believe this model and the benchmarks look good and uh, it's a matter of time that it is going to improve so the team that has created glaive is also a very prolific team like you've got abakash you've got like cis hill who's already released a bunch of data set i think this is an exciting opportunity let's try one final example where we are going to give a more complicated instruction so in this case we are giving an instruction for it to create a colorful python gui where it has to take my name as an input and it has to give me hello with my name it's like a greeting application and the way i've given the prompt it has certain nuances that the model has to understand the code is ready at this point if you see the code let's simply copy the code and if you see glaive once again what it does is it gives me the first code and then it says there's going to be an error and then it gives me another code so let's copy the code from gpt4 for the first time and then paste it and then try to run it once we run it it gives the gui for us i uh, enter your name and it gives the button even greet the button is greet it says a greeting app and when i say abdul it says hello abdul when i say one little coder click greet it says hello one little coder it does a pretty good job like without any single error i managed to run this very successfully it's quite amazing in glaive i read through the prompt i read through the result and picked up the last one which says like you know it should solve all the errors once i pick the last one in this particular case very shockingly it's not object oriented there is no class there is nothing it's just a simple function i copy this entire thing paste it and once i start running and this time this very time it gives me enter your name Abdul submit it says hello Abdul except it's not a pop up but it does a pretty good job it says in one little coder hello one little coder i kind of like this application um, almost as same as like i like the gpt4 in the final test i think glaive actually matched with what gpt4 can do and i believe that this is going to improve with this new company glaive trying to make large language models for the use cases that you want i also appreciate the fact that they decided to make the data set open and also the model is available for open access for us to use it if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope the testing that i did help you rather than just simply looking at benchmarks if you have any comments let me know see you in another video happy prompting